Okay guys, let's do this. Ignore my <laughs> background or like it if you want. We're gonna move into Facetune. This is the first step of how I edit my photos. And basically in Facetune, I'm going to smooth everything out, detail some things, you know, um, you'll see. So I just picked my best picture. This isn't really the best picture. This is just a better picture of the bad pictures that I took earlier. The first thing I do is I crop it to what I want it to look like and then I whiten out my background. So here I am just cropping, 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 never stopping. There you have it. That's the crop. Now we're going to whiten. So basically it's a tool that lets you whiten anything that is white or yeah basically that's it. So if you can see in the left hand corner, I click it a couple times, that's whiten, that's not whitened. And then I go in and I whiten my eyes. So I whiten the center where the light is and I also whiten the outsides. And you're going to see the before and after. See it? There you go. White, not white. Then I also whiten around the high points of my face. So that would be my highlight on my nose highlight, my lip highlight, like anywhere you can see where it's light that's where we are highlighting. I also highlight on my lip because you can see there's a little glassy shine there. The white will bounce off and make it more reflective. So that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Ignore all my notifications, people love to talk to me. So what we're doing now is getting rid of my dreaded under eye lines. And to do that, I go in with the smooth tool and you are very careful with things like the smooth tool, okay? You just run your fingers lightly across the area that you wish to smooth you don't want to look like if someone threw a blur tool on your face you just gently swipe in the areas you want it to be i also do my neck and i do areas like around my forehead and then that makes your skin look nice and even now i go into detail work which is my favorite so i detail my eyelashes to make them look darker and stand out more my eyebrows to make them stand out more the freckles as well i am detailing and girls i detail my hair when you guys ask me oh my god your hair looks so good why does it look so good it does look good but it looks better when you detail it so i'm going to show you what that looks like now so I just drag my finger across the detail very lightly, to detail, very lightly. And that's the before, after, before, and after. So much brighter, so much more vibrant. It's like a sharpened tool, basically. Now, we're gonna attempt to fix this crazy eyelash on my face. It's not that I put it on crooked, okay? I did not put it on crooked. All that is wrong with it is that she is being weighed down by my hair right there okay okay that's all that's wrong so what we're gonna do is going to the reshape tool and basically there's reshape refine resize and it does what it says the reshape you literally can take it and reshape it into something else refine is more dealing with a linear aspect so I can like pick up certain points and push in certain points you can see there I'm pushing in the corner of the eye to make it you know balance out a little more it's still gonna be crooked because that's the picture but it'll be less crooked and here's the before and after in three two i think am i too early i might be early i'm early i'm early ah whatever it'll come when it comes ah it came that's before that's after so i lifted the corners and i pushed down the inner corner a little bit you know gotta do what you gotta do So I'm just showing you again the before and after because I can't remember what I was doing in this part. I think I'm, oh, I'm just going back in and fixing it even more. Every time Rhea is telling me something is boring, ignore her, please. Every time you save something, it saves on the photo. But if you want to go back, there are these arrows that kind of erase your last edit. So that's very helpful as well. So I just figure this out and then take it back out. And I save the picture how it is. Wow, I really slowed this down way too much, but it was too fast before. Okay, saved. And now we're gonna go into Facetune 2 
which is the game changer okay the game changer in this one you're able to edit your facial structure so right now I'm giving myself a bit more of a smile just a little you can see on the corners of my mouth it picks up and then for my jaw I'm just making it a little smaller and then with the width of my face so that's around my forehead like literally my whole face I'm just bringing that in a little none of my editings are drastic so I still look the same how you would see me but you know I just chisel off a bit of things that I don't like like the chicken I ate the day before or the ramen I ate the night of you know what I mean that's what I mean but there's also um, you can do your eyes as well which is helpful here so I just widen them a little bit just because of the eyelash situation and then I save it and then I am done